Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about a very important concept in chess called pawn promotion. And what is pawn promotion? Well, here I have a sample game to show to you uh, that was played uh, between 1600 level players in a very, at least uh, on one of the online uh, chess platforms. Uh, this, this was not a FIDE game or anything like that, but just casual players. It seems uh, to show you what pawn promotion looks like and also to show you other things. Um, basically, I will go through the steps. They're very. Sh I chose one that's very short so that you can see how fast. Uh, if you don't see things uh, the way you need to, uh, you, c you can miss such things. This is 1600 level, both players. Um, and so basically, let's start with what happened here, with just the, just five, six moves. Okay. And uh, this this uh, variant tells you what kind of openings this is. This is nice that you can put uh, the uh, game in, into uh, different uh, databases that can tell you what kind of openings there are. But that doesn't matter here. It matters here that we learn what a pawn promotion is. So we're going to go after this right now. And that can happen very fast if you make a lot of blunders. Uh, mistakes or uh, what is that? There's the third one inaccuracies. Uh, that's another thing mistakes, blunders, and inaccuracy. Uh, and inaccuracy. In a, a blunder is much, uh, it's like a deeper wound than an inaccuracy, and a mistake is a deeper wound uh, than an inaccuracy. So it's inaccuracy, mistakes, and blunders. So that means you're behind several amount of pawns in the scoring system uh, according to the um, engines. But that's another video today. Again, let's focus on pawn promotion. And so obviously you see this pawn, it's coming out like a horse out of the gate and it's running. And it's uh, the black is missing this idea. Okay, does it take here? This would be a good idea to take here, right? But it does not. Instead, it has its own idea. What is this queen wanting to do? Where is it going? What, why doesn't it take the pawn? Was it going to watch? You know, do you see how blunders can be easily done um, if you only focus on your own game and don't uh, realize what the other opponent is doing? So this po person must have been so focused uh, on st something that I don't know how this happened, but maybe they were sleeping or something. But uh I'm not expecting something like this from 1600 level players. It just does not seem uh, to be correct because uh, just, well, anyway, let's move on. Okay. And now it looks like the queen is after uh, this rook and this rook is kind of stuck uh, here. It cannot move. You could kind of block it, right? You could kind of block it and attack the queen, but that didn't happen. Look, look what's happening here. The uh, pawn is uh, ignoring this step because look how close it is to a pawn promotion. Okay, and still at this stage, the uh, black can still take this pawn. But no, it's not even maybe seeing stuff on the board here. It doesn't take the pawn. It doesn't know that it could be promoted in one more move. And that therefore you could have a much higher piece. This little tiny pawn is no longer a pawn when it reaches the 8th rank. And see what happens right here. Look at this. Oh, he's like so happy. He's got the rook, right? Oh, he's so happy or she's so happy. But look again what the pawn does. It does a pawn promotion. Boom. And with just that, we have a checkmate, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that, we have a, uh, a checkmate. If you do, want, do not see what your opponent is planning to do, you had so many chances and so uh, opportunities to get rid of this threat. But you were so in focus on just your game versus the other side's that you have missed this. So pawn promotion is when you can have the pawn reach all the way to the end, to the eighth rank, for example, for your white, and you make this a, uh, a queen. And under promotion, if you would have chosen either a bishop, a uh, rook, or a uh, knight. And that sometimes may happen. I think in the game, this person chose uh, 
uh, a rook, but it's not. It's the same. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter here. If you had chosen a knight, that would not have been checkmate. So sometimes, though, if you underpromote into a knight, it is valuable because a knight jumps and moves in a different way, and that could also create a checkmate. But look at this. Let's go back really fast of how many blunders, mistakes, and inaccuracies we have created here. Okay, uh, jumping out of the uh, unconventional opening, right? They're going this way on the side, the flank, ignoring the center, and they're just keep moving up. Here you can take quite easily, but I don't know what the black was thinking, and it just let this uh, pawn run away. Instead of taking it here, it's got its own agenda without realizing where is this pawn is going. The pawn is getting closer and closer to the eighth rank. Uh, well, uh, the queen is so happy to get a rook, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, we don't only have pawn promotion here. We have a checkmate. Do you see how you want to avoid such a thing? Uh, so pawn promotions are very important at the end games. You will see a lot of grandmasters pushing their pawns, pushing and birthing to a new level of play. They birth a queen. Whereas mother under promotion would be uh, promoting your pawn to a, a a rook or a knight or a bishop. That depends on the situation, but usually it's a queen. And so forth. This is in reality what this would look like. And so let let me uh, put a on the board a a board uh, editor and basically. If the pawn gets all the way up to the eighth rank, you can promote it in that step right there. And the and then if the black pawn gets all the way straight to the first rank, you can promote it to a queen. And under promotion would be the same thing, but to a, a, a little a lesser um, piece like a knight, bishop, or rook. But usually it is promotioned to a queen. And it's done on the first rank for black and on the eighth rank for white. Any questions, please write them down below. And have a wonderful time practicing. Keep looking at pawn promotions with your other grandmasters or masters, whoever is your favorite player. And look how they promote their pawns. Thank you. Au revoir.